on a sharply hit line drive down at first, back in the second. Pitch from Almonte, rolled to second, could be two. It's Castro to Lindor for one, on to first, double play. 4-6-3, and the inning is over. What a nifty turn at second by Lindor to get Kepler by half a step. Castro to Lindor to Leonard. That ball starts on the right side, a high hop for Castro. Lindor avoids the base runner, fires on to complete it. Away from getting out of this for the double play. The pitch, a high chopper, third base. Ruiz goes to second for one, on to first, double play, inning over. No damage done. Aquino gets out of a bases loaded, no out jam here in the second and induces a 5-4-3 inning ending double play. Take a look at this, a leaping grab by Ruiz, goes to second, Drury fields it, fires to get the speedy Anderson, and that'll do it for the top of the second. one nothing Desert Dunk. The pitch by Bridwell, swinging a ground ball to short. Anderson has it, goes to second for one, on to first, double play. 6-4-3, a beautiful sliding stop by Anderson, begins it, a flick of the wrist to second, Gomez fires on to first, and the 6-4-3 double play wraps up the fifth inning in style. It keeps it 1-0 Glendale after five on MLB.com. He sets, gets ready for the 0-1 to Ramirez. Takes a peek at first, steps off, and now the clock will not reset. So he has nine seconds to throw home or to throw to first. The clock is at three seconds now. He gets it off. The pitch is in there for a called strike. That is the first situation we've had of that variety. He stepped off, did not throw over to first. The clock does not reset. He did reset and got the pitch off in time. First time we've seen that here in the fall loop. The pitch to Coyle, outside corner, called third strike, and Appel picks up his first strikeout of the night. It's a K looking. Appel comes set at the letter, kicks and fires. The pitch, called third strike over the inside corner, snap throw down to first, safe is Smith. So two outs in the inning now, both on strikeouts looking, one to Coyle, one to Winker, and Appel. Renfro awaits the 2-2. Fastball strike right down the heart of the plate. Renfro knew it, and how about that? Leadoff walk, strikeout looking, strikeout looking, strikeout looking. Put a run on the board. The pitch, swing and a chopper up the middle. Diving stop by Marrero. Goes to second for one, onto first. Waldrop fields the throw, but he's not on the bag. What a play by Marrero to get the man in the middle, Heinemann. A full extension dive to his left. Waldrop thought that ball was going to get into center field. He broke away from the first base bag. He fielded the throw, holding the runner at third, Marzilli. But a diving stab by Marrero. Full extension, backhanded flip to Coyle. The throw to first was perfect, but Waldrop was not on the bag, and that allows Buxton to reach on the fielder's choice. And Landazuri was able to breathe a huge sigh of relief. This pitch is roped down the right field line, and it will get into the corner. Wheeling around second is Featherson. He's being waved in by Haynes. The throw will be cut off, and the first run of the game scores for the Raptors on an RBI triple by Andrew Applin. And the Raptors are on the board. One to nothing here in the eighth. Come set yet to deliver a pitch to Nola. This one bounded on a hop to short. Marrero to second for one. Coil to first. Double play. 6 4 3. And the inning is over. I believe we even had an interference call there, which is also in effect this season. But the combination of Devin Marrero and Sean Coyle connects on the double play up the middle. They fire onto Waldrop, and the side is retired. Sinker ball. The pitch to Cantwell, ground ball, stabbed on a diving play by Ruiz, the third baseman, long throw across the diamond, gets the catcher, Cantwell, what a play by Rio Ruiz. A diving backhanded stab towards the line, got up, fired a bullet to first, and Cantwell is retired, five to three. Star that one in your book if you're scoring at home. A full extension dive on the backhand, a bullet to first, and Cantwell gone by a step, and there's one away. The runners lead from second and first. The pitch is grounded up the middle for a base hit. Being waved home is Ruiz. He turns third, heads home. The throw will be behind him. He scores, but out at third is the trail runner, Austin Nola. It is five to one in favor of Salt River as the run counts. A five spot put up here in the eighth inning. The final tally on the RBI single by Evan Marzilli, but thrown out at third was Austin Nola. A productive.